Well, today was the deadline for citizens to submit congressional district proposals to Alabama lawmakers. A recent ruling from the Supreme Court found that Alabama's current district map violates the Voting Rights Act by drawing only one majority-minority district of Alabama 7, where more than a quarter of the state's residents are black. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis tells us more about the proposals already submitted. About 85 to 100 ideas for a new congressional map have been submitted. That's according to the state's reapportionment office. Multiple maps on Alabama's legislative website show ideas on how to redraw the seven congressional districts. The VRA plaintiff's remedial map is from the plaintiffs who won the case against the state Milligan v. Allen. Because there's a new opportunity for a new representation. Dita Stone is one of those plaintiffs. She says their map tries to keep as many counties whole as possible. Because when you start to split towns and municipalities, there becomes confusion in the community about which representative or which congressperson they're supposed to go to. Politics is already complicated enough. Even if lawmakers don't adopt their preferred map, she says having two majority black districts is still a win for minorities. The Alabama GOP chairman, John Wall, says he sees the redrawing of the map as a positive for all Alabamians. Throughout this process, there's a lot of conversations about, oh, this is a, a racial district or uh, you know, creating two black districts. I, I don't like to look at things based on race. The new map must have two districts where black people are the majority population, but that doesn't correlate to Democratic representation. Republicans want to win all seven districts. We are getting more minority support and more minority votes right now than the Republican Party ever has in Alabama, um, or, or in recent memory. Stone wants Alabamians to use the new map as motivation to go to the polls. This isn't just a plaintiff thing. This is like a Alabama thing. Um, and we all deserve for our voices to be heard. Aaron Davis, WSFA 12 News, Montgomery. There is another public hearing next Thursday where lawmakers will adopt a map. They'll present that map to a special session of the state legislature, which starts on July 17th. Lawmakers have until July 21st to adopt a new congressional map.